turn 8. A good turn. Uh, the fir probably the first of this game. Previous turns were not that bad, but not very good either. Uh, so I managed to level up twice for my hero. I'm level 6 now. Next turn I hope to get level 7 and then I, I will get lesser charm. Um, on my hero I took Assassin Strike and um, pro Poison Knowledge at level 5. Didn't take anything at level 6. Um, I haven't taken any defense, resistance or HP upgrade or damage upgrade. I usually don't. Um, some players do, but usually I don't because I I consider that you can get the bonuses through the items. Though I, I might take some of the bonuses later on. Uh, I'm not taking break control for now because I don't really need it. Um, cause fear is nice, but a bit dangerous. Usually my hero has better things to say. Counter poison not taking it now because I'm not facing poison damage. Good grass I not commenting on this one. Um stealth commander I, I might take it later when it becomes useful. Stronger old steel I'm usually um not very sure about this one, it depends on the class price of my opponents. So now I've got sprint, assassin strike uh, first strike, projectile resistance, poison knowledge on my leader. On my hero I didn't take anything at level 5 and 6. Um, because he's a support hero I've got 25 casting points. Um, so uh, the, the stack buffs are not useful right now. And uh, I, I don't think I need anything else for now. So next turn I am going to try this one. Pretty dangerous due to the double Tiger and Sphinx so I hope I don't screw up. I will have 8 units to attack it so hopefully it should go fine. Battles I did this turn so Sorry, I'm not going to show them because I'm a bit short on, on time, but I, I hope to show the battle with the Sphinx. Sphinx is if I, if I manage it, even if I lose it, maybe. Um, so the Brigand Hideout, relatively easy. I didn't take any risk and I kind of farmed experience from it because it's a tournament game. Then this one interesting but sorry I'm not showing it for now so I used the crim back crow I tried to bait the shock trooper the priest and the uh, spearman didn't succeed fully I, I, I did manage to bait the trooper and then I killed the other, the other with the six units um, the scapers are pretty good versus orcs and tigrants uh, because of flow resistance so I managed to freeze several units which was quite handy and then finally I did uh, this battle where I stayed cautious I, I was not cautious enough, enough on uh, the beginning of this game and the dual game also um, because I'm I'm still not fully used to the no spell start uh, in the tournament we are playing with no starting skill which means the leader has no spells and it's actually quite quite difficult. Um, my ally lost two units to... no, one unit, sorry, to independence. Otherwise did a good job um, hearing. And he raised the watchtower here for the goblin outpost. Um, completed the quest and got uh, goblin beetle, which is not very fair to our opponents, so we're going to investigate that in the balance mode. It's not very fair that at turn uh, seven you can get a tier three units. It's going to be really a big boost for him. Now it's going to settle here. So actually, he has a uh, settling site, unlike what I said, um, which is pretty good actually. No gold, but mana. Uh, 
growth in production, not bad. It's probably going to go clear the the necromantic circle after that, so it would be quite helpful for me. Uh, we met with those guys at war with me. And uh, that's it for the turn. Thanks for watching. See you next turn. Sorry.